to a cold, distant shore, I will sail. Cross the wide, somber sea, I will sail. I must leave you behind. You might think me unkind. Cross the wide, somber sea, I will sail. My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe! Behold his will! What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, the children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt? when Ciri was nearing womanhood. I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ciri, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word, I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Ciri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, art Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here, an arch Skellig on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I've one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Arskeled. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. 
They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see a Nilfgaardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Either Yalmar or Ceres need help. I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krath. I will see you later. Blade's not worth shite if a weak arm swinging it. It's not worth shite if a weak arm swinging it, eh?
quería. Let's go! See you five got me eye on you. Take it easy. Come on, Roach. Come on. There's something to do. That walking vagrant. Vagrant. 
Call that walking. Take it easy. Drink last night too. That's it, Roach. Shiver at the very thought of that person. Slow now.
What's that? Gotta come back tomorrow. Yeah. Rare indeed to get an audience once he gets chatting with the guard. Uh. Hush! We never... Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek of the Honorable Clan Brock. 